Right, Tom G. Hart, sorry all. Let's screw you So today it's a bit of a hot point because we can't do any more photos, so can't show any more cards at the moment. So we've just gone for a bit of a hot spots, cuddlies, toys, and so on. So big toys, I mean you've got the blast toys, he stands about a foot and a half tall, same with this big squirtle. You've got the medium squirtle, Pika, Side Up, Meow, Charmander, Wobasaur, Jigglypuff, Gengar, Charizard, Eevee, Mew. So I've been having these two were both electric, you've got batteries in them, but unfortunately the batteries were left in so they don't work anymore and it does damage them. Then we've got the EV and then of the second generation as well as Togepi, you've got the Elekid, Slow King, the Blossom, and this guy who I don't like at all because it's an OWL, that's who it is. So there are some of the cuddlies, um, then you've got the figures and different cuddlies. Toys, so put it onto the start so I can show you. So you've got like the Mew, where the legs move, the head moves. That's that one. The same with the Eevee here, it's exactly the same. You know, you can turn the head, move the tail, and that's what moved on that one. Then you had the moving things that actually did something, such as the Graveler. You press it down, and he would he jumps up and falls out. That's what he does. Um, the arena is the better one. He has the front legs, both legs move, head moves. Looks alright. And then when you do this, you push the back, back like this, let go, and it attacks. So there we go on that one. Then we've got the noise balls, I call them. I don't know what else to call them. And you used to hit them, they make noise, they'd say the character's noise, they'd play the theme tune, and they would say, go catch them all. So the Tangela still works, those two the batteries have gone. So there's your the control, theme song. And finally, the Tangela. So then you've got the bouncy balls. Now, this Togrip is a late generation because it says Nintendo underneath, which is Impossible to pick up on the camera to show that. The same with the Jolteon. Problem being, if they get light in the sun or get bounced about, they discolour very quickly like that. And then we have the Poliwhirl, Flareon. You see how they've clouded. The Charizard is much brighter. And then you've got the Dragonite. Um, these original ones, if I can get it to zoom in. Let's have to move the camera a moment to do it. So here we go. Now, on the wing, you'll see it says CGTSJ, and that was the brand marking for Tomy back then. Uh, so that's what you've got on that one. And the Dragonite was the same, it's across the back of it. Just about, you can see it better there. So that's doing the power balls, and that's how you could tell the first ones to the repops. Right. Then we've got the Burger King bits. So you have the little cuddly figures, you have the Starmie. I mean, they also say the Pokemon World on there. They said they're made for Burger King, and that's what they're like on the back. So you got that. The Dratini. Uh, Drowsy. Venomoth. Cedra, Machamp, Dugong, and Seal, Poliwhirl, I think again there, um, Eevee, it's the other edges there, just it's flop over, and Victory Bell, Weeping Bell, one of the two, I can't, can't remember off the top of my head. The other ones you got from, uh, from Burger King with these, and you used to be a slider fitting to press them, like for the side there, it does the swords dance. Uh, the Jigglypuff here used to light up, uh, but I think the battery's gone on that long a time ago. The that was another one was the right you believe that used to light up or the, your cheeks used to light up here but again the battery was all being long gone. So there's those. Um other thing we've got is now these were a bit <laughs> you're not gonna see these about, especially the, this which is the old swimming bag which was the uh, 
Blastoise purely because of how they're made. The, the, they were made from PVC, and as you can see in the corners, the corners start to break up, and that's it. Um, that's, I might say, it's a nice piece, but unfortunately, they just don't keep. And then this one, which was shown before, but showed again today, and that is the Jiggly Puff bag. Um, sort the tags and everything on that, you know, it's, it's, I've never seen anyone or never seen one anywhere else because obviously most people at the time probably got them and would have used them same as they've done with Blastoise or same as Daniel did with Blastoise. So there we are and um, finally we have this little one which was it's a Pokeball and you just open it up and it comes, when you zip it back up, it becomes a Pokemon. So I know uh, someone's little sister, I will like that one. And that's the little Jigglypuff. Right, so just a quick scan through, gone through all the bits, just to show little bits off. So, um, as for a question, now you can see there's different things, different characters, just all I know is which piece you like best. Simple as that. That's the question for this week. Nice and easy. Okay. Um, next week, um, my youngest is starting a little venture of his own involving Pokemon. Uh, so the next week's video will be about that. Uh, I'm showing some things. I know people make boxes up. He's trying to do it a little bit different. It's going to be toys, boosters, and uh, different kinds of bits. Um, so we can make them, it's looking at making them to dip for what people want to spend and to go from there. So uh, I'll put it all up there and that's it for tonight. Thank you all for watching and uh, good luck in the race those who are in them tonight.